Good evening, ladies. Uh, I hope you had a great couple of days off. I wanted to give you a little bit of a highlight reel video on how to create and modify a highlight reel. Um, hopefully, you are all using Huddle to its maximum potential. Um, if you're not, I recommend you do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clip from one of our games and show you how I would create a, a huddle highlight or real presentation. We will go over this on Monday again, but just wanted to show you. Click login and put in your information. Um, this account that I've just created is the same as a student account. So what you are seeing right now on the screen should be what you see when you log in from a computer. It does not work on a mobile device. Just be aware of that. So video reports, and highlights and then up here under your name you can also click on your highlights sometimes I send you highlights when you do something on the field if you click there and you have highlights you can actually view what I have sent you um, video it'll show you all the videos that we have so you can select multiple games reports it'll actually this is actually a very useful feature if you click on reports It'll show you all of the stats for a particular game. So if I want to see our passing uh, attempts, I can basically utilize this to show uh, right here how, um, as a player, I've moved the ball, I've done, I've completed a pass, uh, we've worked on possession. So it'll basically go through and it'll break down the video for you, and then you can just capture this clip by using the highlight. Um, or you can basically share it on the playlist, create it on a playlist. But again, the report function is critical and very, very important because it just makes it easier for you to identify um, moments that you should be looking at. Uh, and I'll give you a perfect example. Not everybody score goals uh, on the game, but uh, let me see if I find a, a good, a good clip to show you. Um, we may have moments in the game where we regain possession, where we uh, win the ball, and we want to showcase that. We want to, that's actually something that coaches, college coaches are looking for. So I want to find a video in which I am, you know, for example, right there, heading the ball. Uh, maybe not that one because it goes straight up in the air. But again, you can look at all of these videos. Here's a good one. I receive the ball, I turn, I pass, I distribute, right? So this would be a highlight where two players uh, can utilize this highlight to showcase how they shield the ball. Like Caitlin Schmidt right there, shielding the ball, passing the ball, starting the attack. So this might be something that Caitlin wants to use in her recruiting video. So use the reports. We'll talk more about this on Monday. Now, for the presentation and for the highlights, if you click on highlights, um, so this will show you the entire, all of the, uh, the ones for everybody. Um, if I go to the team and I select myself, um, if I could find myself here at the bottom, okay. So you can see I have just one clip that I've identified myself with. Sorry, Grace, I'm going to use your clip. Um, so I have this clip right here, and how do I make a presentation out of it? So the easiest way to do this, um, first of all, is we want to create a highlight. So as I go to highlights, right, I can click on right here, so I go to highlights, create highlight, and it'll come up with this process, this movie process. It'll take you about eight minutes to find the clips, 10 minutes to find the clips. Um, it'll take you about five minutes to create the movie. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by clicking, you can change the theme if you want. So there's multiple things. You know, there's the what I call the Gatorade. The, you know, I like the green and gold. So I'm gonna change that to film, film fuel. Then I'm going to click down here on the plus sign. For videos, I'm going to use just the one video that I have. You should have 10 to 12 videos that you should, 10 to 12 clips. I'm just going to use that one. Um, and I'm going to add it to my reel. Okay. Then, once I've added that to my reel, I will go back. I should add some music. Um, the, the music here is not as important as, as you may seem. But, uh, you know, you can add some music if you like. Uh, as you can see. If you want to just select that song, you just basically click and add that song to your reel. 
um, you should add some type of music or or notation to the to the reel because otherwise it's pretty dry. Um, now you should try to pick something that's not very annoying. So just be aware of that. Um, and then you should add slides. You should add a title slide that should have your name. Should have your name and who you are. You know where you where you come from, what you're playing. Um, as you can see, there are some limitations on the title. So now you add it to the reel, and then all you got to do is you just got to move it to the front. Another slide that I recommend you add. Um, I'm just trying to think of the easiest way to do this. Um, there are a couple of things that I suggest you do, and I may actually I'll show you um, I'll show you the slide process um, separate from this. I'll show you um, there's a slide that I think you should include that has all your vitals and information. And what I normally do is I create it on Word and I I create it and I put it on the title screen. But uh, for now, rather than do that, I'll I'll show you um, just a couple other things that you can do. But so. Where we're here and we want to edit the video. I'm sorry, this is longer than I really wanted it to. Um, so when I am here and I'm watching this, I'm watching the video, the coach doesn't know who you are, right? There's a lot of people on the screen. So you have to edit that and you have to make yourself be known. So what we're going to do, right, is I'm going to click on this edit button. Okay. So now there's a couple of things. You can, you know, you can slide the time back. You can, you know, cut, make this shorter or longer, and I'll give you a good example. I don't need to see this entire celebration afterwards, right? That was great, fantastic, awesome team, but I, you don't have to see all of that. So you could cut it if you wanted. You can make it smaller, um, and then just cut it. Now, what's I really want to get across is what's most important right now for the, you know, for the college coach is to know who you are. Um, so what I want to do is I want to use this little button right here. And I want to basically show who I am. Right? Uh, and there's different kind of ways that you can do it. You can use that one. I would not use this. Um, and I would not use that. Same thing with this. Um, I try to stay somewhat, you know, like you do that now you can't really see the player so you have to like move it up um, honestly speaking the best the best one that I I've discovered is this one right here that helps just highlight who you are and then you close it and you play and you play the clip so now when the clip ends and it plays again it'll highlight who you are there right so now another thing that you can do is you can put text and then game winning goal versus Lakeville South. Right? So now that I've done that, I can say done. And now I have a video clip of myself scoring a goal with a title. Um, I will add some other things when we speak in person, but I just wanted to share this with you so you can start working on this um, without waiting too long. Okay, so hope uh, you enjoy this and we'll talk soon. Oh, make sure you actually uh, publish it, sorry, and then put a title. So in this case, I would say Juan Bueno College Recruiting something. Or you could say um, Ron Voino, uh, highlight real, right? And then you can publish. Now, I'm not going to publish because this will actually go out to some college coaches and they're going to go, well, that's not Ivan Voino. So um, we'll talk more on Monday. Have a great weekend, ladies.